Okay, guys, it's here. Limitless V2, brand spanking new. I haven't even painted it yet. And of course, we got this big beast to go in there. That is a 2024 Can Castle 1700. Or 2028, I'm sorry. I do believe that will power it quite nicely. Uh, have to change tires out, change springs out, do some other stuff. Uh, it could be a lot of perfect pass going into that stuff. Um, the new receiver or the new transmitter came in for the speed cars. So, good thing is, is we will be able to get some runs done. Um, I'll put you all down for just a second. But they're both bound up. I'll have to do some adjusting for the servos and so on, but everything's good there. Uh, got some new parts in for the Baja Ray, and I'm still opening stuff. So, uh, more updates to come. Uh, hopefully, we'll get the Fortec and the Vendetta out uh, either later tonight or tomorrow and get some passes done i've got a gnss running around in here somewhere I'm not sure where it's at at the moment but it's here somewhere um i'll have to find it i think it's might be in one of the drawers um but we'll get that done um i've got to go i've got a new receiver for that <coughs> I've got to get the Baja Ray over here because I burnt up the uh, the uh, MMX 6S in it so I gotta go replace that tomorrow um, but I got a bunch of Vitamon stuff to put in it and uh, all new axles and we're gonna talk about those axles all right uh, for those of you with a Baja Ray, let me show you these. Uh, this was a, I gotta put you down for a minute, it's just gonna be black. This was a, something I talked about with somebody I know. And if you look at these axles, come on, focus. Instead of a, let's see if I can get this thing to focus here. Come on, sucker. God dang it, come on, focus. Instead of a, I don't know if you can see it really well, it's not wanting to focus on the axle. Instead of a C-clip, there is now a two millimeter pin. So we're gonna test those uh, with the Ray app this next time out on the road. And, uh, See if those retain the bearings a little better and stops everything from sliding down. Um, the house is a mess. Uh, for those of you who just joining the channel, we just changed jobs. Um, we're over the road truck drivers. So most of this stuff is stuff that came out of our old trucks that will eventually have to go back in our new trucks. It just hasn't happened yet. This is the first time we've been home since doing the job change. <clears throat> um, luckily, I'll be able to be home more, which means I'll be able to do more videos. That was so beautiful to open up. I love new toys. Um, shit. Try not to fall over everything here. But, uh, yeah, we've got, this is everything that goes with the Limitless the stickers and so on tools I still have to run to the truck and get all the RC stuff out of the truck that I had with me to uh, come home and do some of the stuff all the tools and stuff are over there I need to get another set of tools um, but 
there's going to be a lot of videos over the next two three days um, we're not going to start working on the limitless just yet uh, probably be in an ordering phase for that for a month or so uh, i've got to get an esc servo uh, there's some other upgrades i want to do to it springs so on and so forth uh, we'll get that stuff done uh, once i start actually putting those parts on there we'll uh talk about those i do know that you know this is a freaking beautiful chassis but there are some things that kind of worry me a little bit uh we gotta pull the diffs out check those obviously we gotta check the shocks it's an arma you gotta do those things um all right well anyway that's a quick video as to what's going on uh gotta do the wire tidy on the vendetta i also gotta change the drive shaft out because we have this beautiful piece to go into the vendetta all new bearings all that stuff so that's going to go in the vendetta that is a canna's rc drive shaft titanium there and of course we got the splines to hook up the new bearing fans collets all that good stuff so <clears throat> yeah should take all that slop out all right guys um that's it for the updates for now like i said i got some vitamin stuff to go into the baja ray got the uh, new servo saver uh the part that i stripped out uh got a new tire carrier from Corey atkins to check out and put on there change the look of it a little bit there's also a new body coming for the baja ray i'm using a stock closey body sorry guys but the black cherry is going to go away uh, but we'll get all this stuff done up i'm probably gonna have to get a hold of Corey to figure out how to put this thing together because it does not look like the other one uh anyway um uh, talk to y'all soon